Hey, what's up guys? Extra Nick and X here again. Um, this time I decided to show my, my Fortune 8 build just in case someone wants to, you know, see how I ran them or, um, have some sort of inspiration to it. So, yeah, this is gonna be my Fortune 8 deck. Um, uh, first shout out to Warhero, my partner, and, um, check out my videos and his videos and sub to both of us and we'll sub back. And so, let's go straight on to the deck. Uh, first we have, uh, Tregodia. Um, yeah, you're gonna be drawing a lot, so he's, he's gonna get really beefed up. Um, next we have Gores, um, you know, stop low DK, and fortunately these aren't that powerful, so you need some heavy beaters. That's why you have Cyber Dragon as well, you know. 21 hitter. Uh, Cyber Valleys, because there's occasional bad hands, and unfortunately uh, these can't really, you know, uh, fight for themselves, so this, uh, what's it called? Helps you stall for a turn or two, so you could get ready for plays, and it lets you draw cards, so you could even you get even closer to your plays. Then I incorporate the e Tele engine into this, so I have uh, two Cravons in this deck. Um, yeah, it's it's self-explanatory. Then next we have uh, these aren't sleeves because this is the cards I'm selling inside my uh, Fortune deck. So we have a uh, Chaos Sorcerer. You know, remove one light, remove one dark, and they could abuse fortune switcher. Then we have uh, three fortune eight lights. This is basically what the deck runs on. Um, when she leaves the field, you basically you could special summon a fortune lady, and this you just keep it. This is what the deck's about. You abuse this effect. Next, we have three fortune lady darks. Basically, the beater of this deck. The, she basically, when she kills a monster, she gets a special summon a fortune lady from the graveyard. So it's just basically the swarming ability for fortune ladies. Next we have two fortune lady waters, the draw engine for the deck. You're gonna be, you can special summon her so easily and you're gonna be drawing like so many cards. Uh, two fortune lady fires, the mermillo for um, fortune ladies, except your opponent is like points for the monster that she kills. Fortunately when, uh, uh, a bigger, like a, a better version of Breaker, by because she basically could destroy a magical trap for each fortunately on the field, including herself. So, yeah. Um, Kinka Bio, that's she's basically just to abuse fortunately light effect. Uh, two Rimes because fortunately it's our uh, fortunately light is the main uh, engine of the deck and. Um, she's hard to search out because she's a question mark and question marks can't be searched out by sound and etc. So this is this could bring her out because she's a uh, level one and this search out level one and two. Next we have uh, future visions. This is what the deck is um, basically based on too as well. You just abuse this unfortunately uh, light, activate this, uh, summon unfortunately light. She gets removed from play, and then you get to special summon a, let's say, fortunately dark. Then next turn, fortunately light comes back, and you can abuse their effect once more. Um, you should run two or three, actually, but I only have one, so that's why I want to show you one. And the main draw engine of the deck, fortunately feature, a uh, fortune feature, I mean. Um, this card is amazing. Basically, you send cards from your, uh, fortunately from removed from play to your graveyard, and you draw two cards. When you, when you, as soon as you draw one of this, you're gonna be drawing like uh, non-stop chains over and over. Um, there are times when, uh, my hands were got, got into the, like 12 or 15. That was very simple to do with the right cards. And if you're lucky, then you could get to the 20s or more. And then next we have, uh, terraforming. Um, basically, you know, get future visions. You should have more than one future vision. Uh, heavy storm, self-explanatory. Then you have uh, two different dimension gates. Uh, basically, you can uh, use this abuse uh, fortune eight light and then abuse fortune future. This deck just abuses the same cards over and over, and it works so well. It's really fun to use. Uh, Giant Trinade, um, yeah. Mystical Space Titan. Uh, call, and then uh, two compulsors to. Once again, I'll be used for tonight's light effect. Man, I say that a lot. But yeah, that's what the deck is. And this is what, it, and you know, Compulsor has this, he can use his defensive card or anything like that. Then next we have uh, Nikki's attack, you know, don't want to put a mirror force in this. 
And as a synchro, you I put Tempest Musician because all the, all, most of the cards are spellcaster, so she she's really easy to bring out. And like I said, you're gonna have huge hands. And for each a card you discard, she basically does 500 damage to your opponent. And so if you have 20 cards in your hand and then you discard for her effect, you can guess how much like once your opponent's gonna lose. And yeah. Oh, sorry. I guess I forgot some magic cards. Um, the Mercy Teleport, search out uh, Craybonds. My control, uh, you could abuse this with Cyber Valleys or Craybonds for sinking. Third Darkness, more draw power. Brain Control, yeah, and Book for defense. So, yeah, that's my Fortunate deck. Um, right now, the Fortunate deck is on sale, but if you guys want want to trade for the better version of it then PM me for offers. Um but if the deck does sell then you know I'm not I can't trade this anymore and I'll probably inform you guys. But yeah, the deck is really fun to use. It's bad hands are what plays the deck the most but besides that it's really fun to use and it's a really good deck. And uh if you could use it right then uh, you could be you could have a really good chance against meta uh, decks like uh, Blackwing and Glads. So yeah, this is just my uh, Fortune Lady deck. Subscribe to me, subscribe to War Hero, and I'll see you guys later.